Okay, so finally, can I get a community sanctioned finally? The invitations have all gone out. The website is live. The YouTube stream is ready to go. And the 2020 iPhone event is on. But since this is 2020, it can't possibly be just like a normal event, right? No, hard no. It's virtual, of course. And this is clearly October and not September like the iPhone event has been held in most of the last many years. This year in September, what we got was Apple Watch and iPad. So now, October, iPhone, next week, what are we gonna get? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. Sponsored by Ting. Look, I'm gonna have just a ton of videos going up during the event and right afterwards. And YouTube tells me 70% of you still haven't subscribed. So just do us all a favor, hit that button and bell and make sure you don't miss any of them. Here's what the Apple event invitation actually says. Hi, comma speed. And yeah, I said that like I'm talking to Siri, but that's what it says. Please join us for a special Apple event from Apple Park. Watch it online at apple.com. October 13, 2020 at 10 a.m. Pacific. And I know what you're thinking. If you tap the logo, does it open up in augmented reality on ARKit enabled devices? You bet it does in full on faux 3D glory from Apple logo to date stamp in one hot twisted moment flat again. And yeah, this time there's no Greg Joswiak, no Jaws, no senior VP of worldwide product marketing, just wicked flex tweeting to show off the animation like from the roof of Apple Park or anything. No, this time Jaws tweeted out an iOS 14 home screen photo instead. And I have so many questions. Now, clearly the notch is normal size, same with the bezels, just stop with all of that, stop it. Jaws doesn't self-leak, but news and home icons, and those widgets, it's gotta be the second home screen, right? Anyway, let's turn our Zapruder mode camera from Twitter to the invites themselves. Now, as usual, as soon as people see the event logo, there's insta speculation on what it could all mean, just everywhere. And as a reminder, we go through this every year, just all the tea leaf reading. The way it works is that Apple Marketing Communications, Marcoms, hands off a spec to the graphic design team, the GD team, who then has to come up with the art. In other words, the people making the actual art don't have any special insider info on what's gonna be happening at the event. It's just based on what they're told to do by the people who do do. So think big themes rather than specifics, but still maybe Easter eggs. Like last time, it was a nice sky blue and lo and behold, one of the new iPad Air colors, sky blue. This time we have a dark blue and orange tinted by teal and yellow. And yeah, they're classic cinema grading colors, exactly like I use for these YouTube videos, but maybe also a nod to the rumored new dark blue iPhone 12 Pro color and maybe something for the regular iPhone as well in orange. And the circles, well, the circles, especially the circle with the Apple logo just right in the center. A lot of people are already hoping that represents AirTags, Apple's U1 ultra broadband spatial positioning chip enabled tokens that can just be attached to anything like our wallets, our keys, our bags, our pets, our kids, yeah. To use the Find My Network to just precisely locate them if and when we ever need to. That would be those other circles, just concentric circles of all the devices finding all the things. And with the AR being a nod to the AR kit interface, that'll make it all much easier to use, coming soon. But other theories include the circles representing the new quad camera system, the one with telephoto, wide angle, ultra wide angle, and the new LiDAR sensor, which would work sort of like Face ID's true depth camera on the front, but on the back with less density, but greater range. So you can use it to scan the environment in front of you for everything from much faster focus to better bokeh to full on 3D ingestion and AR scene building. And yeah, more AR because it's coming and it's coming faster. And there was a lot, I know there was a lot of LiDAR and AR speculation, hopes and dreams back before the September event as well. But obviously in hindsight, that's just all it was. Apple was just showing off some of their AR kit marketing. This time though, we'll have to wait and see. But certainly, if you have any other ideas, anything you've thought of that I haven't, just let me know in the comments below. Because next up is the tagline, the teaser, the high comma speed. And yeah, 
we get it. Hello speed as in welcoming new speed and high speed as in the speed is increasing. Clever Marcoms. And absolutely, there are a few different things that could apply to. 5G, of course. Carriers are pushing that just so hot and heavy around the world. Building out the networks is extremely expensive. They're paying a fortune for it and they have the capacity now to withstand an iPhone level deployment. So the faster they can start getting back some of that ROI, getting money from us to pay for the network, just the better that is for them. And of course, you may or may not have usable 5G, depending on where you are, either FR1 low to mid band or FR2 high band in your area. But either way, even the LTE on the new Qualcomm modems should be a real improvement, especially for anyone who's just struggled with signal quality in the past. Then there's A14 Bionic, Apple's next generation system on a chip, or SOC. It's also gonna be hella fast, like Barry Allen breaking the speed force fast, because we've already seen some alleged benchmarks and they were legitimately impressive, not just the gains in single core, but multi-core and metal performance as well. And I've already done just a whole video on what the new five nanometer process means and what all the new IP blocks mean for this generation of Apple Silicon and the iPhone 12. So hit up that link in the description. But basically, Apple's still leading the industry here. And it's, like I said, hella fast. Beyond Find My, Apple's U1 chip could also be a significant speed boost for things like AirDrop, which a lot of people use. It's one of the big advantages of Apple's ecosystem. I'm just not sure they thought through the branding completely because the minute they hit the next generation on the ultra wideband chip, just what are they gonna call it? U2? Then, of course, there's the big hope that we'll see the ultimate in speed increase, the Apple Silicon Mac at this event. And Apple could absolutely do it. They could do anything they want. They could have Tim Cook come out in 2020 holding the new ASI MacBook like he did the original 12 inch back in 2015. Can you even see it? <laughs> I can't even feel it. There it goes. And then just dive into it like it's one more thing. But Apple could also let the iPhone 12 just own this event and have us come back in November for one more event give the first Apple Silicon Mac and its Mac OS Big Sur variant some, some solo time to shine. And I think, I mean, I know everyone wants everything just immediately, but with the iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, maybe a new iPad Pro, AirTags, AirPod Studios, yeah, the over the ear ones, maybe an updated AirPower, it's just a lot already. A lot to fit into one event to be sure, but also just to fit into all of our budgets. And that's where Ting can help, especially if you're at home or at work with tons of Wi-Fi and you don't see the need to pay anything extra for cell phone data or talk or text. That's exactly where Ting comes in because they offer coverage on Verizon and T-Mobile. So no matter where you are, if and when you go, you'll have more service options in more places. And it works with almost any phone, including all the upcoming new iPhone 12s. Pretty much anything you can put a SIM card in. The average Ting bill is just $23 a month, and that can mean a lot of extra cash to put towards your next iPhone with no contracts, no commitments, and since you're watching this video, you can get $25, a $25 service credit to try them out. Bring your own phone, bring your own number if you want to. Just go to renee.ting.com and see how much you can save and get $25 off. Seriously, go to renee.ting.com and click the link in the description and start saving with Ting. And clicking on that link just really helps out this channel. To learn more about the iPhone 12 and everything Apple's announcing this fall, click the playlist above. I've got hands-on, reviews, breakdowns, just everything. Click the link and I'll see you in the next video.